I'm proud to pay taxes in the United States. The only thing is, I could be just as proud for half the money. Arthur Godfrey Imagine standing at the precipice of human invention. Before you is an expanse of structures, both tangible and intangible. Buildings, laws, constitutions, regimes. As with all creations, some withstand the test of time, becoming legacies celebrated in history books and museums. Others crumble, their inefficiencies or malicious intents rendering them irrelevant. What is it that determines the longevity of these creations? Efficiency, undoubtedly. A well-conceived purpose, certainly. But, occasionally, something endures not because of its universal value, but because it benefits a specific few. Enter the realm of taxes. Originally conceived for the collective good, the idea of taxation was meant to foster a well-functioning society. Over centuries, however, the interplay between governance and taxation took a convoluted turn. Today, the balance seems tipped, not in favor of the collective, but in favor of the few who wield the power. While you, the hardworking business owner who contributes to the fabric of America, see your earnings significantly diminished, the promised return often feels lacking. First Encounter Daniel and Janet, a vibrant couple in their mid-fifties, are not just bound by their marital vows but also their shared passion for architecture. Together they run a family architect office, translating their combined vision and expertise into masterpieces. Despite the success of their joint venture, they entered my life during a pivotal phase. Parents to Emma, on the cusp of college, and Seth, already two years deep into his studies, they felt the financial burden heavily. Tuition fees soared, and amidst managing their business and personal commitments, Daniel made a startling realization. The money they were relinquishing in taxes could easily cover their children's college expenses. A prospect that seemed tantalizingly out of reach. Determined and imbued with the can-do spirit that characterizes many business owners, Daniel and Janet decided to confront their tax dilemma head-on. They believed that if they could build a successful business from the ground up, how hard could it be to navigate the tax code? They were soon to discover the monumental task ahead. The U.S. Tax Code, an expansive and intricate document, boasts tens of thousands of pages. For every clear rule, there seem to be a dozen exceptions, contingencies, and addendums. Every evening after work, their dining table transformed into a war room. Pages upon pages of IRS publications, printouts of tax forms, and handwritten notes formed a tapestry of frustration and confusion. The couple's DIY spirit was met with the cold, hard reality of just how confusing and overwhelming tax laws can be. Humbled but not defeated, they believed their salvation lay in professional guidance. They had always had a tax accountant for their basic filings, a seasoned man who they thought had seen it all. Expectantly, they approached him, their hopes hanging on his years of expertise. They told him about their struggles and waited for him to provide the clarity they so desperately sought. However, their hope was short-lived. The accountant's response was far from the decisive solution they had envisioned. Instead of innovative strategies or insights into overlooked deductions, they were met with a grim cautionary tale. Venture too far and you're inviting an audit, he warned, adding, sometimes it's just easier to pay your share and sleep easy. The weight of his words was a gut punch. They had envisioned him as their beacon, the one who'd light their path through the treacherous terrain of taxes. Instead, they found themselves back at square one, their dreams of optimizing their tax situation seemingly slipping through their fingers like sand. Their hope, once a bright flame, had dwindled into a flickering ember. Yet behind Daniel and Janet's concerns was a dream. A dream of early retirement, selling their business and retreating to a serene farmhouse. They dreamt of unfettered travels and savoring the rewards of their life's work. A Chance Encounter One evening, at a dinner party thrown by friends from the same neighborhood, fate intervened. David, their friend, casually discussed a recent change he had made in his financial strategy by partnering with a virtual family office, VFO, set up by my firm. Daniel's ears perked up. Ever the extrovert, he dove into the conversation, peppering David with questions. That night, a referral was made, and barely two days later, I saw Daniel and Janet stepping into my office, hope and uncertainty in their eyes. The weight of their financial challenges became evident as we talked. The hefty tax bill and simultaneous college expenses threatened their retirement plans as our conversation meandered.